hello guys welcome to another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can upload a static website with cPanel you can also say that uh, HTML CSS JavaScript based website right so I have a website like this one this website is developed in uh, bootstrap and inside this one website have a complete static data like images content and links something like that so I want to upload this one website with my domain name like baby someone.com so here is the my URL this uh, website is uh, coming from uh, access from my local computer but I will upload this one website with on this one domain so you will able to see this website will appear on this one domain but before uploading a website you must have a web hosting and domain name so if you want to know uh, how you can buy a hosting and domain name you need to watch my this one video tutorial I have uh, I will mention this one video uh, a link inside my video description you need to watch this one video right once you watch this one video and you will able to see how to buy a domain name and hosting another thing is if you buy a domain from uh, a Namecheap or an other company uh, like a GoDaddy and you have uh, bought the hosting from Bluehost or Hostgator then you need to uh, connect them for example I have a domain from Namecheap and I have a hosting from Bluehost so I need to connect the domain with hosting right so how you can connect the domain with your hosting very simple process just uh, log in your particular company account for example Namecheap and then you need to click on manage not manage you need to copy the domain name and go to your uh, host account and click to domains then click to assign and inside the assign section have a uh, two options for example you have uh, bought the domain from Bluehost then you need to select this one tab and inside this one section you will able to see the particular domain name but in my case I have a domain from Namecheap so I select this one uh, section and click uh, enter the domain particular domain name on there I already verified the domain but I'm going to show you the important things I use something like this one no I will use uh, my site domain this is a temporary name I just show you the verify section uh, uh, tube classify okay I will okay I will use I will use uh, this one section but I check that just a minute I'm gonna show you I will uh, use any domain which already bought from any company so I use my site my site dot com okay my sites and once I'm I'm gonna show you the thing the thing is very important right this domain is a have a anyone user for example you have bought the domain my sites dot com from GoDaddy or Namecheap then you need to enter the domain on here once you enter the domain on there then you need to provide the name servers so you need to copy one uh, NS and go to your particular uh, domain registration company and you need to click on manage I have a domain from Namecheap so I'm gonna show you how you can connect them and click to custom section on there and add the name server like this one as you can see ns1 and ns2 you need to paste that like this one right but in my case I already verified the domain so you need to enter the both servers on there for example I use this one way 
click there I'm gonna show you the process then I'm gonna click to just a minute I'm gonna show you everything this is a default section you need to click on there and click to custom uh, DNS you need to copy the first one DNS and paste on there and you need to copy the second one NS and paste on there that's it then click to uh, save sign once you use this one method then you need to go on your hosting plan and your domain will verify on there once you add that right now the next thing you need to do is you need to uh, uh, the default directory will create it after the verifying your domain name right once you add that then you will able to see your domain will appear on this one section I'm going to show you on this one section right once you see the domain appear on there then you need to go on advanced and go to file manager and inside there you need to double click on public underscore HTML and inside there you need to select the particular directory for example I want to upload my website with babysummon.com so this is a particular domain directory I will upload the website on here then the website will appear on my this one domain right that's very simple so let's do that I go to my website this is my resume I need to uh, click uh, is uh, where is a uh, upload and you need to just uh, select all the file and folder click to archive it and move the particular zip file inside your hosting panel once you add that then you need to wait once you see the process will complete then you will able to see the particular website will upload it on your web hosting panel I'm gonna show you I go uh, I clip as you can see this is my resume I, I'm gonna extract there right click here and click to extract and extract here okay I will upload in other file this file is not supported so I select all right click it send to zip folder right set so I use same thing but I'm gonna delete that and I click upload and I use same thing like this one set folder it's take a few seconds or one minute less than then my site will upload on my C panel so you need to wait and you will able to see everything okay so right you have seen 3.47 MB this is file size right click on this one file click to extract extract all files and folders appear on there but you need to reload that as you can see you don't need to use this one file because this is the file remove that let's try it now it's working or not as you can see guys my site is ready with live server and you are able to see uh, this is my local website and this is my online website I'm able to use everything as you can see so this is a very simple process to use the HTML website with online server if you face any problem leave the comment in the description I'll leave the comment inside the video I will teach you how you can use that so thank you very much for watching have a nice day